Good morning, YouTubers, friends, followers, but mainly my subscribers. Thank you all very much for continuing to stay on this channel. But if you're watching this video right now and you have not yet subscribed, why not? It's free! But it's not freedom of speech. Not until we replace the people at the top. Anyway, listen, yesterday was a very, very busy day. Uh, very busy day. Uh, spoke to a... Australian veteran, Jason, uh, who's been through one hell of a shitty traumatic time uh, and has, I, I would say, diced with death and managed to come out the other side. Uh, he's a broken veteran like me and many other people, but he's still there and he watches my videos on YouTube. So, Jason, good chat yesterday. We will chat today. Uh, Jesus, it's been non-stop since I, since I come off the phone to Jason yesterday, actually. Um... Yeah, I start off yesterday with um, a screen test, uh, audio and video screen test for GB News. And then once that had finished, I did an interview with the Mail Online. And then once that was finished, I did a screen test for Dana Lash, uh, American Radio and TV. Then I went and did a GB News interview. Then I had to put quotes out for another media papers who wanted to know about stuff. And then we did the uh, the Dana Lash interview last night. Uh, and it, my, my emails are non-stop people, so I'm sorry if I don't get back to everyone. Um, but we're starting to put things to bed. Americans, American media, have now come to the stage where they're thinking, hmm, Harry's a wet lettuce. And I agree with that. Um, so there we go. But... Um, Lots of things, lots of truths. So for you out there, you YouTube human reviewer, uh, you can't really do anything because uh, I only speak facts. So there we go. Right, here's another fact. Gary Glitter, remember him? Jail for paedophilia. It's being released. After, he's been released. He did, well, he was meant to serve 16 years. He's only served eight. He's getting out early. Now, you're probably thinking, oh, it's shocking what Gary Glitter's doing. He's getting out early. Yes, but there's a state in America where paedophilia is now allowed. So maybe that's where all the paedophilias, will go, all the pedos will go. They'll go to one of the states in America. I'm not going to highlight it. They'll go to one of the states in America and they'll all be safe there. Maybe that's the state where all children and families should leave. Mm, that's what I would do if I had kids there. I would leave. Imagine... Pedophilia be, being okay in a state. Imagine getting your kids, your kids get raped, and the police go, well, it's allowed here. Mm. Absolutely disgusting. And that's the type of politicians that are in the White House now. People that think that's okay. Maybe, in my own opinion, I'm a bit prejudiced, maybe that's why Joe Biden touches kids along the face, touches their hair, and touches things. Did he help the law go through? Did he help things go through? Don't know, don't know, I'm only saying, I'm only saying. And it seems that Lady Hussey has been to the palace. And Marlene, the uh, the fraudulent woman who uh, only looks after certain colours of abuse, uh, has been there as well. Did you notice that the, the, did you notice that this woman Marlene as Nagosi or whatever her name she thinks she's got about ten names. That's a fact. So have you noticed she dressed it like a proper person when she went to the palace? She didn't dress in African tribal wear this time, did she? No, no, she didn't. Yeah, I think it's disgusting. We should not. And you know what? I would like an apology from the Black Lives Matter community and all the weirdos whenever it turns out that her charity is fraudulent. It's currently under investigation by the Charity Commission. And there's, what she's done is she's attracted loads of people now to her charity. Sister Space. Even in the name, you can tell that it doesn't look after white people. Sister. Sister space. You can tell it's a black charity. By the naming of it. Yes, you can. Let's not pretend. Let's not beat around the bush. There we go. Mm. Ulrika Johnson has spoken out in a subject which has got nothing to do with her, but she's felt the need to speak out. Ulrika Johnson has said, I hope that... Stephen Burr, the reality guy who uploaded a sex tape of his girlfriend and was found guilty. I hope they throw away the key 
It's not, Arik, it's got nothing, stop trying to make the headlines. It's got nothing to do with you. You were dead and buried, but this has brought you out. She's probably trying to earn a few quid with a story. You know, that's what people do these days. Shocking. What's a big thank you to Patrick Christie from uh, GB News, who is a breath of fresh air. Do you know what? I spoke to Patrick yesterday prior to the interview on, on GB News. We had a chat offline and uh, he's got plans for veterans and he's going to use his platform in GB News to promote something in the new year. And I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I've given him a few ideas. And if GB News get behind it, who are currently, who are currently the UK's number one news station. So if GB News gets behind it and we get all the patriots from GB News behind it, this could happen. So I'm really excited what's going to happen in the new year. Uh, I'm going to be on and off chatting to Patrick and a few people at, down there and giving them the right names and people to, uh, who can help move things in the right direction for the benefit of our veterans. Let me tell you, so I'm looking forward to that. It was also nice to speak to Kane yesterday who works for Dana Lash. It was nice to have a chat with her and explain what's going on. She said to me, uh, live on her, uh, and it's on TV as well over there. She said, Trevor, um, Megan's fans, you know, they're starting to turn on her. Uh, they're starting to see what's going on. What's your opinion? I said, fans? Fans? No. We're talking about a cult here. And she, I could see her laughing. But uh, there we go. Well, people, I've got to go and do things uh, this morning. So uh, I wish you all the best. Thanks for staying on this channel. It means a lot. Take care. Stay safe.